slippery slope. I mean, people are in there for all kinds of things. And you commit a crime, you shouldn't be able to vote. Well, it's, it's really a constitutional question because what the Constitution says under the 14th Amendment is that it's a state issue. It's a state by state issue. And in fact, I think Bernie's probably speaking to his experience because in Vermont, people in prison are allowed to vote. Uh -huh. And I think a lot of people don't know that. Um, and in about 48 states up until 2017. In Maine. In, in, Maine. in Vermont. Uh -huh. And in, two th in uh, 48 states, most people, even after they got out of prison, were not allowed to vote. Right. And just recently, I think it was 2017 or yeah. 2018, yeah. now 15 states mm -hmm. plus D.C. allow people to have the right to vote. Right. My, you know, so I, I, I don't know that Bernie's position um, is appropriate. I, I would agree once you're in prison, I don't know that the right to vote is appropriate. But my concern is the laws of our country are disproportionately applied to people of color. Mm -hmm. And so there's real disenfranchisement of the African-American vote, of the Latino vote. So you're talking about, you know, 6.1 million African-Americans that the vote is taken away from. Every well, there are single currently 1.5 million. That's, so that's, 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 that's a different issue. conversation, though, and I think that's well, a valid one. The, I think it's part of the same conversation. So I will say that I got up at 5.30 this morning. I just I couldn't sleep last night, and I woke up really early, and I saw this clip. And I will say, talking about prison reform and talking about low-level crimes like Alice Marie Johnson getting let out of prison, yeah. I believe a woman like that should have the right to vote for all intents and purposes. Mm -hmm. But for Bernie Sanders and Kamala Harris to go on TV and say that the Boston terrorist deserves any rights in this country after killing three people, and injuring 264 in 2013, I think is disgraceful. RNC, turn that into an ad. It is not hard to say people who commit acts of terror in this country should not only be punished, but God forbid they should have any rights mm. that any of us had or someone who commits a low-level crime like smoking pot or getting caught with a dime bag of pot and going to jail. It is not hard to put lines between terrorists and people who commit low-level crimes. And I was very upset about this this morning well, there because if just one second. If Democrats want to drag everybody this far left, this is why people like me are so upset and so disenfranchised with how extreme this is. It's not hard to say the Boston terrorist was a psycho lunatic who is a threat not only to national security, but shouldn't be allowed the right to vote in any elections. We it's not that it hard. Very clear, though, Kamala yes. Harris did not right. say that. Kamala Harris said we should have did, a conversation. We can have a conversation about it, but I think we need to make it very clear. And that's she fine. Did, that's not good enough not for me. Say that. That's not good enough for me. But she Kamala, had an that's not good enough that. for me. She was she was a prosecutor in California. Mm -hmm. the, this is clearly something that she uh, has it's worked on they before. Have discussed. And yeah. I feel like and she's thought about it before. Well, but does you know, anyone here think a terrorist should have the right to vote? Well, here's what I'm going to say. If they let this terrorist out because he served his time, he gets his, if he's an American citizen, and it's every, why is your mouth open because like that? He, 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 whoopee, he killed people. Yes, lots of people do this. He's but, a terrorist. Our, He's a our, radicalized terrorist. Our Constitution says yeah. if you've done your time, yeah. you have, mm. we hope, been reformed, you've been changed, you've been grown. If they let him out, that means they feel his time is up and he gets to become the American citizen again. He should again. never be let out. He's a radicalized well, terrorist. Well, but you asked me about the boys. He's probably never going to okay, get out. But I'm saying... It is a simple question. Does anybody at this table think anyone who's committed an act of terror that killed three Americans and injured 264 should have the right to vote? Anybody at the I table don't know. Well, no, that's not the way to ask that question. No. Because this is two different conversations. It's not you to me. I get that. But it is to me. And let me remind you why. If you've done your time, yeah. that's what prison reform is about. Yeah. If they let this man out, mm -hmm. they are saying he has been reformed. Yeah. We have <laughs> fixed him. He's been rehabilitated. We have rehabilitated him. He's met his debt oh to society. God. That's what. I'm not trying to be disrespectful what, to any of any of you. And I understand okay, this is the view. But we're taught, but we are talking about. If he were to so, be let out, if he, he should be never out. be let out. That's but not the conversation. Were, if he were, That's no, not what you no. Asked. I said low-level crimes. I said low-level right. crimes like Alice Marie Johnson. But then you said, it. "But who I, here thinks that, that this should happen step. if he gets out?" I'm sorry. Out. I'm sorry. Eleven percent rise in in terror. I mean, we talk about the rise in terrorism and violent crimes in this country all the time. And the idea, I'm telling you, that I am open to women like Alice Marie Johnson, who uh, who I think we all can agree, yes. put into prison for too long. Would you are talking about terrorists? How about 
the you're, 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 missing, you're missing the point. You're Hold on. The point. Yes, you're missing yeah. the point because when you, you talk, can't. you keep saying if they let him out. Well, yes, if they let him out, yeah. he gets okay. those rights back. That's no, what we're talking about. No, I don't about. agree that if this terrorist well, no, were let out... no, he should not that, get out. But uh, yeah, I, think, I think he should be given the death penalty. I mean, that's where I'm at with this. So, with people so commit I, acts of I, terror I, on American soil. I Does this include, in your mind, domestic terrorists? Yes, terrorism is terror. Yes, of course. And what about those guys who shoot schools up? Uh, also, they should, of course, be in jail. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, it is, I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you, this, right. what Bernie Sanders said yes. is going to be turned into a clip yes. that yes. will be, it, it upset me well, this how morning. Do, how do you Abby feel and about I the have, fact that people Abby, in Vermont Abby, are allowed to vote? Abby Vermont. and I didn't have brothers that serve multiple times, and I didn't watch my brother deploy when he was 19 to, to fight this crap, to have them come here and give the, the right you, to you vote. Are you missing, about wait, no, wait, hold on. Let's be realistic here. The, the discussion here was if he got out. Yes. That was the discussion. Then I'm against it. Even then, that, she's against it. Okay. Right. That's the conversation. So people that I can't imagine. Well, that would not be allowed. I don't think it he would ever get out. Well, that's, that's why I asked you when we're talking about terrorists, should they get though. the vote while they're in but prison. We're talking that was about, when we're talking about no. terrorists... Tell me a terrorist who has committed an act that heinous that, that has been let out. out of prison. No, we, we haven't had that not, conversation, yeah, not right? So that is but we were a hypothetical. We were talking for, in for, right. for me, yeah. I would appreciate yeah. it if Bernie Sanders and Kamala Harris said there are true monsters in this world, and true monsters for me are domestic terrorists, which these these guys were. They were mm -hmm. radicalized here. Mm -hmm. People like that not only shouldn't get the right to vote, but I don't think should have the right to have anything in this country. They killed Americans and they were and radicalized they and they got cancer in this country. But they get out. People that are in Maine and in Vermont that are allowed to vote while in prison? Maybe you think terrorism are you is okay with I do not. No, you're missing. Don't do that, because Megan. Don't, I, because don't do that because what what we are chuckling at is I'm trying to get this to he's back behind you like this and they see me trying to say it and then Sonny started up again and they realized that I wasn't going to get to say we'll be right back with more Hot Topic. <laughs> Later, Feminist Reality. Are the ladies of the Real Housewives franchise the new face of modern feminism? Or just women behaving badly? This week, we're serving up a simple...